Hey everybody, welcome to That Acreage Life. This is mine and James's home. We're often asked by clients, what would you do? So I thought I'd answer the question to everybody. So come on, let's go take a look. We're often asked if we are more traditional or more open concept. And at the front half of our house, we are definitely more traditional with a formal piano room, a pocket office, a foyer for welcoming guests, and a half bath, while the back half of the house is wide open, perfect for entertaining. Ten years ago, James and I went to Calgary to look at show homes to get inspiration for our build and we saw this room exactly how it is today in a show home. It included the kitchen, the dining room, and a large living room, and I just love the flow of it, so we took that and moved it into our home. What I love about this room is the really tall ceilings, and we included some balconies that are off our bedroom and off the bonus room upstairs just to add some interest, I'd say, to the ceiling. And then we also included an area in the middle here for family functions that we can play pool or really it's just used as an extra table more often than that. I also love that the person that's in the kitchen is not cut off from all the entertaining and they can easily join in in all the conversation. Welcome to my clean kitchen. Just kidding, it never usually looks like this. But 10 years ago when we designed our kitchen, I had some things that we must have and I still love them today. Starting off, my two dishwashers. I know, kind of spoiled, but when you have a family of five, you're always entertaining, you will be thankful for putting two dishwashers in if you have the space. What I could do without in this kitchen is definitely the prep sink at the end of the island. Maybe it's because I don't cook that much, so I'm never really prepping, but I do love the gas cooktop, the wall oven, and the wall microwave, and the big single basin sink that's perfect for families. Over the last 10 years, my style has definitely evolved to be more white on white, so my busy granite would be the item in my house that I probably wouldn't do again, but for now, I have it, so I will keep it. Another favorite spot of mine is the mudroom. Don't judge how dirty it is. I've got three kids and this is real life. What I love about our mudroom is that it has a door so we can hide the mess from company. This is our family's favorite room because it's right beside the kitchen so the kids have easy access to us. And we love it as parents because we can hide them in here when friends are coming over and they can keep all their noise contained to one space. I love the bright windows that face south and plants just thrive in here. Thanks for following along on our main floor and I'm really looking forward to showing you the second floor soon.